What up guys, in today's video we are doing another unwrap, unbox, and another install, so be sure to stay tuned. What up guys, we are back. <clears throat> I got it. I didn't get a knife though. Alright, let's get this. Um. Cars, stickers. Alright, and that's everything. Um This is actually really small. I don't know if it'll work. Literally. I thought it was supposed to be longer than that. We got ourselves here. Holy crap. A oil catch can that I think I don't unscrew. Um, that is pretty heavy though. Um, So this um, is an oil catch can, obviously. I need to take the top off. So I'll be right back. All right. So in order to get this off, you have to take those off to get it to be able to go like this. Um, It's not bad, couple scrapes, but that's going to be normal, um, considering the fact that this is all um, on the inside that won't go back into the motor. Let's turn on the light in here. So, bringing it into a problem, I have to drill... Um, my license plate relocation bracket because I don't know which end I'm pretty sure it's this end that has to go through here to hold the license plate on well the holes as you can tell are not big enough I can make them big enough I can make it work and all that so um basically this video is at a halt because of that. So, till next time I can actually do that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. You guys, got it. As you can tell, I'm still inside, but I got it rigged up for now. I had to do a little pounding, you know. This apparently, I don't know how it's supposed to sit, but apparently it's supposed to sit like that. Obviously, I will be tightening that bolt not down, so let's go install it. All right. What up, guys? Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is currently raining out. It is like 60 degrees out, or something like that. Um, I got the license plate relocation bracket kit 
on. Um, now all I'm doing is coming to the garage to get a pair of pliers and basically get that front mount off of uh, the bumper because that thing is ugly. So I'm sorry if my finger was in the way. I'm trying to hurry before it starts actually really pouring. It's been foggy all day. It's been odd. So it's just been a gloomy day. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be 12 degrees. And that looks a lot better. Ten times better. Thank you, Brian, for the hookup. Now, here's what you guys do with your old license plate frame bracket. My bad. Um, you go like that. And you be responsible and you put tools away back in the garage. I will catch you guys back inside out from the rain. So, I'll meet you guys inside. What's going on? Um, glad to see y'all again. This is what? Two videos in a row? Um, like I said, I'm constantly working and all that, so, um, there won't be that many videos, but I'm gonna try and do a lot better with cart mods and all that. Um, that front license plate relocation kit, it does need some work, six speed. This is to you. It does need work. Um, the license plate bracket, that flat black um, piece that attaches to the license plate, that needs to be able to fit that um, bolt, bod, whatever you want to call it, able to fit that in to the black bracket piece with ease without no modifications to it. I literally had to go out to the garage. I had to take a chisel and hammer it into that and then take a pair of pliers and bend it back some so that it could fit. Threw two washers on it, tightened down the knot. I mean, I can't do anything else until this rain stops. I'm completely soaked from head to toe. That's why I just took off my hoodie. Um. But, six speed, your catch cans, these, these are nice. They're nice, heavy, they feel really good. Um, all the connections look good. I mean, you could have done a little better with the, the top one. It is at an angle. I wish I was more straight on than... It is, but there's nothing I can do. I'm still going to run it. I'm still going to send it. Um, the bracket itself, very simple. Um, this is going to be literally quite easy to install. So that is honestly amazing. I cannot wait for that video to come out once it stops raining, once the snow goes away. Like I said, that and my wheels are not going on until winter is over and then videos will probably be an everyday thing I'll probably end up recording two or three times a day of what I'm doing if there's any car meets or anything like that um, and all that stuff so stay tuned me and my buddy Nate Cinco are actually going to be collabing here soon probably when the winter is over with and doing some stuff with the Night Fox racing crew and probably in like two weeks end up going back out to Buffalo to chill with Austin again and all that and I can't tell you why exactly I'm going out there but you guys will see when that happens, I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Stay true to your ambitions. Peace.